Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I wonder if you've ever thought about atheism. You know, why does it exist? Why do some people simply not believe in God? There are all sorts of reasons that people are atheists, the way they're raised, the mystery of an all-powerful and loving God, and the existence of evil in the world, disasters. But one of the reasons for atheism that the bishops at the Second Vatican Council came up with is pretty surprising. Here's what they wrote. Believers can have more than a little to do with the birth of atheism. To the extent that they neglect their own training in the faith, or teach erroneous doctrine, or are deficient in their religious, moral, or social life, they must be said to conceal rather than reveal the authentic face of God and religion. In other words, you and I are responsible in some way for atheism. We Christian believers have not lived authentic Christian lives. In particular, our divisions, the conflicts among Christians, the many different Christian denominations, all this is pretty confusing to the world. The world looks at us and says, yeah, right, how can we believe in Jesus when his followers act the way they do and are so divided? That's why it's so important to pray for unity and why we are in the second day of our special octave of prayer for Christian unity. Let's do that now with a prayer that Jesus himself prayed at the Last Supper. I pray that they may all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that the world may know that you sent me and that you loved them even as you loved me.